Hi guys, Wacker here. So I'm going to go into um, my um, tutorial map um, and we're going to create a room and we're also going to cover off uh, the fact that we might want to add volumetric lighting. So first let's just build a room. So we could build a room over here. So if we just adjust my view and we're going to build over here so what I'm going to do is press T for texture because I'm going to go back to basics here because a lot of people seem to be struggling with uh, certain things uh, I'm going to find a cult brush there are various ones to use but this one will do me uh, we won't make it too large just line it up there uh, I'm dragging in the 2D window, so I'm basically selecting this. Uh, I'll start again. So, we're dragging in the 2D bit window over here. Sometimes it doesn't always apply the texture the first time. Just double click on the texture and it'll reset the texture correctly. Uh, we'll make it yay big. Uh, but we want it to touch the floor. So if I hold shift, I can actually see where my floor is by clicking on it and clicking off it. Um, so we'll drag down, it's now touching the floor, it's of a reasonable height, so it's touching the floor, I've gone far too far, let's go up to that, um, but that is, if I press escape, all that is at the moment is a caulk box, we can't do much with that, so we want to make it into a small room, so let us go to selection, CSG, CSG hollow, when you hollow a, hollow a box, it will hollow to the size of the grid. So if you had a ridiculously large grid, it would be like that. If it's really fine, really fine. But this will do for now. I'm then going to go in and just do a couple of things. So the floor is going to be fine in my view, but these walls, and I'm holding shift and left clicking to select them, are all touching the floor on the roof. So I'm just going to hold the left mouse button, drag up drag down and you can see it's no longer touching the roof and the floor and then I'm going to select this wall turn around select that wall if I change my view holding sh uh, control and tab I'm then looking at the uh, wall from another angle I'm going to pull it in there and pull it in there so now what we have in essence is a box with no overlapping walls in theory if I've done my job right yeah I'm relatively happy with that, it's looking good but of course we need somebody somewhere to get in so we better make a door so let us just shift left click select that wall I've done the wrong side, turn around <laughs> shift left click select that wall uh, let's slide that over there so I'm just dragging with my left mouse button then I'm going to let go and it's still selected, what I'm going to do is press space it will duplicate that brush and using the left mouse button I'm going to drag it over here then I'm going to hold my mouse over here, holding left mouse button I'm going to drag and slide the brush over like so so now we have a very large entrance, but I'll do, it. it's a basic um, door and entrance uh, we might want to create a window, so let's do something similar here, so let's select that drag that over there, press space, duplicate it, drag that over there, press space, duplicate it over again, drag that over there, change my view, so I'm using control and tab to change that view, so if we drag that down a little bit, press space, drag that up a bit, and we've got a basic uh, window. Um, but in game nobody's going to see that because it's caulk and this is where we now start texturing so let's do the floor first, we want to give it a nice floor so if we hold control and shift and left click on that uh, brush that you can see there you'll notice it's only selecting the facing brush because I don't want to have all the um, brush in the same texture so we want to choose a floor, so we change the usage here to floor 
Uh, let's see what we've got a choice of. Um, I don't really know what there is. There's a choice of floors. A little while since I last looked. Oh, we can have some nice... Uh, are these my own ones? I don't know. Let's try and pick one that's probably st standard. So let's pick the ceramic tiles. There we go. Got some tile floors there. I then want to do the inside walls. So I'm going to hold Control, Shift and start selecting the faces. And we need to have a wall. So let's find interior wall. Scroll down. Let's find a T7. And let's have a lovely sort of well, that says red. To me, that looks like pink. Don't worry if it looks dark. It's normal. Uh, because until you light the room, it's not going to look proper. Uh, we then want the ceiling. So, I, let's have a look at the ceiling. Uh, I don't want a translucent colour. Uh, let's go with that. Okay. So now we've created the basic parts of our inside of our room. We now want to decorate the outside. So again, we're using Control and Shift. And I'm just going to select all the faces now. And I'm going to go all the way around. So this may take a little while. Let's just click on all these. If I'm making it look easy, if people have never done this before, just go slowly. You know, take your time until you get used to using the tools. Um, once you do, it's fine. Right, I want an exterior wall now. Um, so let's see what have we got. There are a lot of my custom textures in here as well, but I think a T7 brick will be fine. And we'll go with that one. There we go. We've got a brick exterior wall, and the only thing we haven't got is a uh, door frame. Now there's a couple of ways we could swing this. We could look for a model or we could draw our own or we could just skip that. So at the moment I'm going to skip it but I'm just going to select this brush here and I'm going to do the same on the window frame. Oops, I've selected this brush out there. I didn't want that. Um, and we'll probably just go for a... If I, I'm going to do all, I'm going to type plaster in. So probably some sort of plaster colour. Um, there we go. So I've given it a, that plastery effect there. I don't know if you can see how well you can see that. But there we go. What we probably ought to do is just light everything correctly. So all the shadows get cast and the probes get looked at. It's still working. Has it done? It has done. So here we go. Got a bit of light coming into the room. It's looking a bit bland inside. So now's the time to uh, start adding some models. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to close that down. I'm going to press M for models. Um, a chair would be good. What chairs have we got? Oh, that looks nice and comfy. So I'm holding down that. I'm just going to drag and drop it there. Um, it's at the right height. Uh, if I change my view using Control tab I'll then press R to rotate it and holding down with my left mouse button I'm rotating here. You can also rotate, you see you get these uh, circle ways you can rotate it however you want. I'm going to undo that. So we could rotate it in this view as well. It will rotate as finely as you want it to depending on the grid size. So if the grid's stupid I don't know it's too big that but it will rotate faster so that the finer the grid the slower it rotates or the finer it rotates press R again you see it's not purple anymore we can drag that into the corner and there we have a nice thing now a lot of people talk say about my map oh things aren't clipped now if we select that and press N for November we can tell it to use a collision map as I've talked about already they don't all work so you might have to manually draw a clip brush around it um, if you're going to use the same model a lot, what I would do is create a prefab. So I'm going to do that now. So um, let's close this window down. Let's press T for texture. Let's clip. Uh, I need clip carpet just because it's there. And the reason for that is it, it, it's a material type object. 
So I'm going to rotate this so it fits a bit better. So it doesn't have to be perfect, if I'm honest. Um, now, how how mad do you want to go? I don't know. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do this in a couple of stages. And drag that, if I yeah, leave it like that, drag that in a bit. Now I've not tried this, but if I hollow this, yeah, it's hollowed. Okay, so take away that face by holding Shift and selecting it. We don't need that face. Uh, we don't need that face. And if we select these and go to this view, uh, we can see really we probably don't need those either. So let's get rid of those, and we've just got the back bit. So yeah, the player's going to walk around a little bit in there. It's a little bit messy, but let's just quickly select all the brushes there. Right-click on it. Prefab. Save selected as prefab. Nice chair. So I call it a nice chair. So now, when I select the whole lot, not only is the model selected, but all the clipping is. So I could press space, and I can duplicate it. And... Uh, we could rotate it, put it over there, but as you can see it's got the clip against it as well, so that's quite useful. Um, we probably want a few more models, so I'm going to press M for model, and I want a table as well. Let's see what tables we've got a choice of. Um, what sort of tables can we use? There we go, coffee table, so let's just bang the coffee table in there. There we go, coffee table. Uh, I'm going to hope this one's clipped, so I'm not even going to draw any uh, clipping around it. Just tick the call box, and hopefully we're okay. And there we have something very simple going on. Now we might want a light in the room, so we could quickly throw a light in. So if I just bring back my uh, window for X and Y, because it's uh, going to be needed. Uh, I'm going to press M for models. I'm going to choose light. Um, I'm going to look for a different light. I'm going to look for... Uh, mm, yeah, the red ornate. That looks quite nice. Just drop it up there. Put it in the centre of the room. Just check it's at the right height. It is indeed. So we need to actually light that now, so we're going to throw in a light. So if I close that down, press B for Bravo. Um, type lights. We're not wanting the build light, you do not need to use those. We're going to use the unsorted light. We're going to chuck it up there. Now in this view I can mess around. Um, and I can make it a bit bigger, bigger so I'm going to press N for November. I'm going to change the radius to 120. It's nearly there. 130. See that about fits the room. That. Um, the stops. It's quite a bright light, so I'm going to make it about six. And if we press F9. So F9, if we press light, it should then light that room. And when it eventually, eventually finishes, So I've had the wrong light state selected, it's a test one. So here's the light state we're using. And there we see it's lighting the ceiling, the light's bouncing off there and there. We can change the types of lights and create lots of different effects, but I'm not going to go into that. That's a really quick box room, done very quickly. Um, the next thing you need to think about, and we'll go into it, we need to go into advanced patches uh, and other items. But in fact, what I'm going to quickly go into, uh, we'll do a quick volume decal. So Let's take this wall over here. I'm going to press B for Bravo. Type volume. Uh, and I'm looking for a volume decal. Let's just type decal, be easier. Miss volume decal, I'm going to throw it up there. So that's against the wall. 
press T for textures. Notice the volume decal is still selected. Um, let's change the usage to. Do we have decal? Yeah, decal. Um, what do we want to use? Let's have a look. Let's try that one. Now, I know some of them don't work. Um, I'm just going to rotate this around until you can see it. There we go. Press R. Uh, what I'm going to do, uh, I don't know if you can see, you've got these um, square boxes. So if I tap it with Alt, we can um, then drag the size of them. But that texture doesn't fit very well. So if I press S, click on Set really quick. There we go. We're now projecting that decal against the wall. And that's a really quick way of putting in decals on without getting into lots of complex patches. And yeah, you know I'm happy with that. And that's the end of this tutorial. Um, I hope you found it useful. Uh, I'm a little bit tired. I've been doing quite a lot of work on my uh, actual map. So um, I will start making more and more tutorials as I go. And hopefully on the weekend I can burn a load out. If you have questions or the specific tutorials you want, please ask me and I'll do my best to fulfill those needs. Thank you very much, guys. Bye.